Grade 5 Math, number 32. Estimate decimal sums and differences. Just like with whole numbers, we can estimate and round off decimals. If you want to see a complete video on rounding decimals, you can go to Grade 5 Math, number 29. We're on number 32 right now. But you can follow along with this and you might be fine. We use the same rules as with whole numbers. The number on the right tells the number on the left what to do. If it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, it tells the number on the left to stay the same, and then it becomes a 0 when its job is done. If it's a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it tells the number to go up to the next number, and then it becomes a 0. So the 6 is on the right-hand side. It tells the 3 on the left side to go up to 4. See? So we can round to the nearest whole number. 2 and 3 tenths becomes 2, because the 3 tells the 2 to stay the same. 4 and 1 tenth stays 4, because the 1 tells the 4 to stay the same. And 4 and 7 tenths becomes 5, because the 7 tells the 4 to go up to the next number. We have 11. We can round to the nearest whole dollar. A dollar 17 would round to a dollar, because the 1 tells the 1 to stay the same. $3.75 would go up to $4, because the 7 tells the 3 to go up to the next number. Then we have $5. We can round to the nearest $10. $19.95 would round to $20 because the 9 tells the 1 to go up to 2. And $12.98 would round to $13 because this 9 tells the 2 to go up to a 3. And then they become zeros. And then we can quickly add $33. We can also use familiar numbers or benchmarks to help us estimate sums and differences. If you think money, that 4 quarters equal a dollar, you'll think 4.25 equal 100. See? So if you needed to add 23 hundredths plus 48 hundredths, you could think money and think 1 quarter plus 2 quarters equals 3 quarters. See? If you had to do subtraction and had 74 one hundredths minus 22 one hundredths, you could think money and think, think 75 cents minus 25 cents is 50 cents. And then you can estimate your difference. So we can estimate by rounding or we can estimate by benchmarks. Estimate by rounding we use that number to tell us to go up or down to the next number. 1 and 81 hundredths would be 2, 62 hundredths would be 1, and 2 and 13 hundredths would stay 2, and we'd have 5. 7 and 89 hundredths would become 8, because the 8 told the 7 to go up to 8, and it became a 0. 3 and 14 hundredths would just become 3, because the 1 told the 3 to stay the same, and that would be 5. Estimating by benchmarks, we think money, 9 and 77 one hundredths, is thought of as $9.77. We can round it off to $9.75. 4 and 21 one hundredths becomes $4.21. We round it to $4.25. We, we subtract them, and we get 75 cents take away 25 cents is 50 cents. $9 take away $4 is $5, and we have $5.50. See? If we're adding them, $8.17 can become $8.25. See? We're rounding it to the benchmark. And $2.20 can become $2.25 to add them quicker. So we get $10.50. So whether you're rounding to a whole number or a tenth or a ten dollars or a hundredth or whether you're using benchmarks for money like quarters and a dollar, Either way, they're going to help you estimate sums and differences, and you'll get your answers quicker if you're not looking for a precise answer. For that, we're going to be in our next video, and we're going to actually add decimals to precise numbers. I hope to see you there. I hope this helped you with estimating decimals. Bye.